Well, hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a little trick with the stroke layer style to create a kind of a, a double outline or a multi-stroked outline around any of your objects or images here inside of Photoshop. And it, it serves a couple purposes. One, could save you some time from taking a trip over an Illustrator, or if you don't use Illustrator, well, it becomes all that much more useful. So uh, what we're going to do, let's start off with a very simple shape here. I'll just use the rectangle tool. I'll make sure the shape layer option is selected up here in the options bar. And I'm just going to draw myself a large rectangle out here on the canvas. Now I'm going to go down to my layer style setting here at the bottom of the layers palette, and I'm going to choose stroke. Now, we typically use the stroke layer style to add a stroke or an outline around an object. And it's a lot easier than making a selection going up to the edit menu and stroking that way. So it's a great way to get an outline or any type of a stroke around an object. Now, we can always change the color because yourself as well as me and just about everybody out there probably doesn't like red. But we can change it to whatever color we want. And increase the size here so you can really see what uh, Photoshop is doing and it's is putting an outline around their object and a lot of people will find if you change the position from outside to inside and I'll drop that down a little bit you'll get a nice crisp outline around your object now here's where the cool part comes in under fill type you see right now it's set to color so it's just using one color to fill with but you can see here I can use a gradient or a pattern well I haven't really found all that useful of a, of, of a use, I should say, for a pattern, but gradient, I've got a couple different uses here. Now, linear, you can see what's going on here. If I turn it on and off, it's filling it with a linear gradient from white to black, and that's what my gradient is here. But if I change linear to this option that you've probably never seen before inside of Photoshop, it's called Shape Burst. Watch what happens to my stroke it causes the, the stroke to follow the outline of whatever object that I have it on. All right? So if I increase the size, you can really see what it's doing here. It's putting that gradient along the outline of the object, but it's still using the same gradient, just kind of sending it off in different directions. Well, let's take this a step further. Let us click on the gradient, and instead of having that smooth transition from black to white, because what happens is a lot of times you might want a stroke around an object, but you also might want two strokes around an object. So instead of gradiating from black to white, take your black stop, move it toward the center, take your white color stop here and click on that and move that toward the center till there's absolutely no transition. And look at that. Let me click OK here. I can drop the size down and now you can see you have a little bit of, you've got a double outline around your object and you did it with a layer style so you weren't making selections you weren't trying to trying to get exact precise numbers so that outline looks the same you're able to do it with a stroke layer style and have it be the same distance the same size all around the object so that's pretty cool when you think about it but you can take it even further click on that gradient again and if you wanted the black outline to be larger and the white outline to be smaller, well then just reposition the way your two gradient stops, your two color stops here work. And you can do the same thing in the opposite direction as well. So you can reposition each of those and let me click OK. Click OK and let me show you the before and after. So that's without the stroke and that's with the stroke. So it's a very cool way to add a double stroke. Now chances are you're not going to be adding these strokes to plain rectangles, but I find it works great when you use some text. So I'll go ahead and I'll type my name in here. And maybe we'll make it a little bit larger. There we go. So I'll type my name and I found, I, right now I'm using a very thick font here. I found that this doesn't work quite as well when you use a very thin font. And let me go in here. I'm going to use the uh, uh, Alt key on a PC, Option key on the Mac, and hit the left arrow key just to make my type a little bit tighter here. It looks a little bit spread out. 
I know it's not a type lesson, but it was bugging me. Now, uh, so one of the things that you'll find is it works great on thick text. It's not going to work real good on real thin text because your stroke is going to start to overpower the text. So something like a, a regular myriad font, um, a times, or any of those thinner type fonts, it's not going to work real well with. So let's go ahead and try it, though. Uh, we can add a layer style, or why don't we do it the easy way? Click on the layer style icon in the layers palette. Hold down your alt or your option key on the Mac and click and drag. And we drag that layer style over onto the new layer. And it looks horrible. That's because it's just larger. So double click on it. Go to over to stroke here and let's just bring our size down. Maybe reposition. Put this right back into the center again. There we go. Maybe bump up the size just a little bit. Okay, so you can see what we're getting here. We're starting to get that multi-stroked outline text here. So it's a nice effect. It's typically, it's done inside of Illustrator. And, uh, you know, hey, if you use Illustrator a lot and you're familiar with it, by all means, jump over into Illustrator to do it because I, I think in some ways it's a little bit better. But you either don't have Illustrator or if you're not familiar with Illustrator, then Photoshop is not a bad alternative to go ahead and get this done if this is the effect you're going for. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you again next week.